Oh, more stuff being revealed about Epstein and all the people that knew him. Who knew? Jeffrey Epstein court doc named 70 people who knew of sex trafficking and underage victims, according to one of his, I'm going to say victims, sex slave, whatever, that's their words, but um, this came in a European paper May 4th, updated May 5th. Um, it talks a lot about the unsealed documents in the Virginia Roberts case against uh, Virginia, um, Jillian Maxwell, who was a pedophile sex trafficker and was at Chelsea Clinton's wedding. Yeah, the Clintons are fucking bags of shit. Virginia Roberts claimed that Prince Andrew, former New Mexico Governor Bill Richardson, hairstylist uh, to the stars, Frederick Fakai, and former Senate Majority Leader George Mitchell were among those who had knowledge of Jillian Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein's sexual trafficking conduct and interactions with underage minors. So... Doug Band, to the right of Clinton, may have knowledge of Jalene Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein's sexual trafficking and interaction with underage minors, said Roberts. The Roberts stuff came out and then came out, I forget the dates, right around August 8th, it was a Friday, the 2000 documents got leaked. The next morning, Epstein hung himself with a paper t-shirt. Why isn't this guy who was on Epstein's plane 26 times, why hasn't he been brought in for questioning? Not even questioned. He releases a statement, I was only on four times, we didn't know. And we're all just supposed to buy that? We're all just supposed to buy that. Hillary Clinton is endorsing Joe Biden and we're all just supposed to just let that slide? Who else? Former Senate Majority George Mitchell with Benjamin Netanyahu. There's... So we know Jalene Maxwell's dad was in Mossad. There's deep ties between Mossad and Epstein and Jalene Maxwell. When I interviewed John Kiriakou, former CIA whistleblower, former, he was in the CIA and he was a whistleblower. When I asked him about Epstein, he said he thought the Israelis had to somehow be involved in what happened in Epstein's death. Either he was extracted or they killed him. An ex-CIA guy said that. So this isn't just a random photo op. But let's go through some of the names. Jolene Maxwell. Roberts alleged that Maxwell sexually abused her by forcing her to engage in threesomes with her and Epstein. So Jolene Maxwell is a pedophile and a sex trafficker. Yep, a lot of female pedoph pedophiles. Society doesn't want to acknowledge, let alone admit it or prosecute. Um, numerous, uh, hung out numerous times at a writer's retreat with Jeff Bezos. I've done videos on that. Please watch my whole Epstein playlist. Jean-Luc Brunel, the French model scout and former modeling agency manager who, who multiple women, including Roberts, have alleged they were trafficked to by Epstein. The modeling industry, Epstein had a fake modeling agency. We're going to get to, um, uh, Wexner who owns Victoria's Secret. That's part of the whole awful, this global, it's a, it can't be a multi-billion dollar global industry, sex trafficking, and nobody knows about it. And it's how does this happen? Because the most powerful people, what the Epstein Black Book showed us is the most powerful people involved. That's why it's allowed to continue. Virginia Roberts, Maria Farmer, the Maria Farmer interview she did with Whitney Webb, she said there's only 30 Epstein victims that have come forward. And they all saw Epstein with literally hundreds, if not thousands, of girls, children. Maria Farmer believes many of them were just, they got rid of them, killed them, executed them. Ron Burke, a billionaire co-founder. Oh, a billionaire was involved in this? That's weird. Billionaires are usually so great. This must be the one bad one. The book co-founder of Ukaipa Companies, a private equity and venture capital firm that specializes in purchasing and then restructuring underperforming companies. He's close friends with Sarah, Duchess of York, was married to Prince Andrew, and Bill and Hillary Clinton. Weird. All these billionaire pedophiles are all pals. Bill, 26 times on Epstein plane. Hillary, two times on Epstein's plane. Both Bill and Hillary were at his compound numerous times, numerous times in New Mexico. That's guaranteed. More than likely, 
they were at his horrific island in the Virgin Islands that nobody seemed to know anything about. Alan Dershowitz, polarizing lawyer and Harvard professor whose past clients include President Trump, O.J. Simpson, and Epstein, whose sweetheart deal with the state and federal prosecutors he helped broker back in 08 when Epstein got arrested in Florida. So Acosta, Epstein, or, uh, his lawyer was Dershowitz in 08, 09, so in 09 he got that deal, right, by Acosta, who was appointed to Trump's cabinet. When it came out about the sweetheart deal, oh, Trump got rid of him, meaning, oh, Trump got caught. Roberts has alleged that she was trafficked to Dershowitz, which he has denied. Roberts has since filed a lawsuit against him for defamation, similar to the one she filed against Maxwell in 2015, which Maxwell, of course, settled out of court. So Virginia Roberts isn't just someone going doing interviews. She's done sworn depositions. And just to make clear what a sworn deposition is, you put your hand and you swear under penalty of perjury. So if Virginia Roberts was lying, she could go to jail. So any of this like, oh, she's just some crazy girl who's mixed up. No. Because if she was actually lying, they would gladly have her thrown in jail and say, oh, get rid of her. She's nuts. But they can't because she's telling the truth. They deny it. All those documents that were sealed 10 months ago, what happened to them? They raided Epstein's apartment 10 months ago. What happened? Eva and Glenn Dubin, the former girlfriend of Epstein, and her doctor husband, who Roberts has alleged she was trafficked to by Epstein and Maxwell. Prince Andrew Albert Christian Edward, Duke of York. The eighth in line of the British throne, who Roberts has said, this is the guy who gave that ridiculous, oh, I lost my sweat glands in the war, that ridiculous speech he gave or that uh, interview he did several months ago that only made him look more guilty. Tony Figueroa, Robert's ex-boyfriend, who says she was asked to recruit, says he was asked to recruit girls for Maxwell and Epstein when he was just 17. Jesus. Claire Hazel, mystery associate of Epstein, who alleged link to the pedophile remains unclear, but who flew with him on the Lolita Express, Epstein's infamous sex plane. Stephen Kaufman, Roberts claims she was trafficked to Kaufman in, 20, in a 2016 deposition. He has denied this accusation. Sarah Kellen, Epstein's assistant, who managed to avoid charges in Florida. Hmm. He had a lot of women go out and recruit. Let's say you're a teenage girl and, you know, a guy comes up to you and says, you want to be a model? You might be like, no, oh, no, but a woman comes up. Isn't that safe? 45% of human traffickers are female. You want to be a famous model? Pretty girl? Oh, these nice women dressed all nice. The rich, nice, rich, nice ladies. That's how they do it. It's horrifying. Um, me, she was avoided charges as, as part of Epstein's deal in Florida in 2009. Many of Epstein's underage victims have alleged that Kellen scheduled their appointments and facilitated his abuse of underage girls. Yeah, I did it again. In my Epstein playlist, I go into a lot of these, all of these women that were Epstein's assistants that did all this horrific shit and were well aware of it and treated the women, well, treated the girls like trash. That's one of the things Maria Farmer and Virginia Roberts, Jufri said that like, especially Jeline Maxwell and some of these other women were like, treated them like dogs, like shut up, you're trash. That's how they talk to these, these girls. Nadia Markanova, a foreign born model who may have identified, who many have identified as an accomplice in, in procuring underage girls for Epstein. She may be just as much a victim of the serial pedophile, however, who claimed to have purchased Nadia from her family at the age of 12. George Mitchell, that senator we showed, leader, Senate majority from 89 to 95, Roberts claims she was trafficked to center uh, an allegation that he denies. Some of those years were Clinton's years. David Rogers, Epstein's pilot, whose flight logs offered proof that Epstein and Maxwell frequently traveled with Roberts when she was underage. That's one of the things Roberts said. She goes, all these people were in on it. Doctors, 
pilots, all of it. Adriana Mus Musinska, another Epstein assistant who allegedly helped to facilitate. Uh, Emma Taylor, Maxwell's assistant at the time that Virginia was allegedly being trafficked by the British-born socialite. Tom Pritzker, billionaire hotel heir and cousin of Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker. One of them, I think, is part owners in the Chicago Cubs, which sickens me because I'm a Cub fan. Bill Richardson, another piece of shit, buddies with the uh, Clintons. Haley Robinson, a high school student who was a victim of Epstein and then allegedly became one of his biggest recruiters in Palm Beach. She too avoided charges in the Palm Beach case. Larry Viskoski, Epstein pilot whose flight logs and deposition also provided definitive proof that Epstein knew and traveled with a number of his underage. This is the thing that's, that's really scary too. These are the flight logs that we just have access to. What about the pilots that didn't keep flight logs or destroyed their flight logs? How many other times was Bill Clinton and all these people on it? There's only one flight log with Trump, but I doubt he was only on once. He's a pedophile piece of shit, just like the Clintons. Leslie Wexner, owner of Victoria's Secret, another billionaire piece of shit. The Limited and Bath and Body Works is Epstein's most prominent client at his money management firm. He's the one that was in charge of all this. He was the head of the snake, according to Maria Farmer. Ignore Zinoviev, the former Russian mixed martial arts fighter who became Epstein's bodyguard. Just wanted to walk you through that because we're not talking about it during COVID-19 now, are we? All those people are running around free. No one's been charged. No one's even been questioned. The media threw their names out. The tabloids jumped on it a little bit, and then that's it. Ten months ago, all that information came out. And a judge just passed a law last month saying, oh, none of these people can be prosecuted. But maybe the people need to do their own prosecution of this. Maybe we need to make enough noise that these, this case gets reopened. Yeah. I'm not voting for Joe Biden, the lesser of two rapists, because he has ties to Epstein and so does Trump. I couldn't look my nieces or any female friend of mine in the eye or any, any victim of sexual abuse or sexual trauma, especially anybody, any victim, male or female, a victim of childhood sexual trauma in the eye and say I voted for one of those two pieces of shit. The billionaire pedophile sex trafficking ruling class, your time is done. We cannot allow them to live and operate in this world anymore. Shave your knuckles for justice. Rather than send mercenaries down to Venezuela, how about take some ex-Navy SEALs or whatever and have them go round up that list? Why don't you do that? Tiger Swan and Silver Corp. Why don't you do that? Any ex, any ex Navy SEAL, any mercenaries out there? Why don't you get some honor back and go round these people up? You're a Ranger, you're a Navy SEAL, you're working for a private company now, and you're going down to take out Venezuela just so we can get their oil. You're just helping more billionaires. Why don't you do the right thing? I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you, American military veterans. I'm talking to you. These people should be rounded up and held accountable. Their assets frozen and given to their victims. Their whole network of sex trafficking needs to be completely, but we need to get the head of the snake. If you're in Delta Force, or you were a Navy SEAL, or you were one of those folks, and now you've got a, you, you have a choice, six-figure job with one of these private firms, or go do the right thing. Why don't you go rescue some children from the most horrific thing possible? Why don't you make the world a better place? When you swore an oath to defend the flag and all of that, why don't you actually do it rather than defend corporations and these awful billionaires? You know I'm right. I met many of you when I did comedy tours in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Kuwait. 
You seemed honorable. You seemed like you joined for the right reasons. Was I wrong? I'm no Navy Merc guy. I don't know that shit. I tell jokes. You gonna keep turning a blind eye? And go do operations to put Juan Guaido, a CIA puppet in power, so he'll give oil to American oil companies like John Bolton said on Fox News? Really? Really? All right. I guess you're part of the problem sell out too, or you do the right thing. Hey everybody, like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification button and the subscribe button, even if you've done it before because they're unsubscribing many of you every day. Watch the ads all the way through. If you click skip ad, I don't get paid. Also, support us at patreon.com slash Graham Elwood or rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood. Rockfin.com is a blockchain cryptocurrency platform. All my videos are on Rockfin ad free. Thanks for watching.